of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May your Spirit, Lord, guide me everywhere I go. Make me a channel through which your blessings flow. May your Spirit, Lord, guide me everywhere I go. Make me a For our good night message on this Tuesday, the 23rd of May, 2023, broadcasting from the Salesian community of Rundu, Namibia, by your servant, Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this Holy Spirit message entitled, The Power of the Holy Spirit. May your spirit, Lord, guide me everywhere I go. Make me a channel through which your blessings flow. May your spirit, Lord, guide me everywhere I go. Make me a channel through which your blessings flow. I want to begin by saying, no matter how hard we try to follow God in our own strength, we will succeed only when we surrender and depend fully on Him. Have you ever read the book, The Little Engine That Could? A small engine keeps repeating the words, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. By using sheer willpower, She pulls an entire train over the mountain. That's a nice children's story. But the truth of the Christian life is very different. In the real world, our efforts and determination often fall short. Only by walking in the power of the Holy Spirit can we live a godly life. We are a few days before Pentecost. And we want to emphasize the need of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Many of us have neglected the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. That's why maybe we are losing strength. That's why maybe we are failing to hang on. That's why maybe we just quit. In the Old Testament, God's Spirit would temporarily come upon our patriarchs for a particular work. However, after Jesus ascended to heaven, he sent the Spirit to dwell within each believer. Luke chapter 24 verse 49. Consider what this means. If you are a Christian, God is living inside you, available to help throughout your life by providing guidance, comfort, and empowerment. Obedience to Christ is impossible for anyone relying on his or our own strength, as I said at the beginning of this good night message. For some reason, though Christians often try to live life by depending on themselves, nothing really works. Defeat and failure are unavoidable without divine power in our lives. That's why we are insisting on the power of the Holy Spirit. Do you recognize your need for God? Begin each day confessing your dependence on Him. Ask to be filled with His Spirit so that all you think, do, and say will be an overflow from Him. Then trust him to work in mighty ways through you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. I your compassion to the abandoned, to the unloved and neglected, your protection. And may all those in sorrow and in grief find consolation in you and believe. May your spirit, Lord, guide me everywhere I go. Make me a channel through which your blessings flow. May your spirit, Lord, guide me everywhere I go. Make me a 
channel through which your blessings flow. channel through which your blessings flow. 